Hey everyone, Joel Lancer, today we're in Sterling Heights, Michigan, Detroit area, outside Las Tortugas Taqueria, guys, here doing their taco record challenge. So the challenge is to beat the taco record. The current taco record is standing at 32 tacos. Now these are a double corn tortilla, Mexican style street taco. Guys, they have so many different flavors of tacos, I'm super excited. We got barbacoa, they have um, El Pastor, we have so many items, fish, etc. So you get to pick your flavors, uh, you like your types of tacos, they have to be dressed traditionally. Um, you have a one sitting time limit to complete the challenge. And if you do, you get a free t-shirt, you get a wall of fame, and you get the percent of like tacos you eat off the meal. You know what I mean? They're about $2 each. So if you eat like 50 tacos, you get 50% off your meal. Um, but yeah, sounds really cool. I've heard this is like some of the best Mexican food in Michigan, like all of Michigan, and especially in the area. So let's go in and let's have some of these food. So yeah, just tacos guys, lots and lots of tacos. You know, I love Mexican cuisine. So let's, let's go eat. Everyone, so here we are with 33 tacos, yes, 33 to start. So I went with 15 of the barbacoa de res, so the beef barbacoa. I went with three Nepalis, the cactus. I went with three pescado fish. I went with five of the El Pastor and five carnitas. So 33, this will get us to the record, and then anything above will be extra on top of the record. So now they did ask me, and I did quote, he said, run it. He told me to run it. So, um, I guess that's about that. You know, he, they want me to run the number up, so I will a little bit. I'm not sure we'll go too, too, too high, but we'll run it up a little bit, at least get it higher than the 33. But yeah, 33 starts, so this is the new record. If we can beat this, this is the record, and then we'll go from there. So I am super excited. The food smells fantastic. It all looks great. So how about we can start here just momentarily. I also do have um, their different salsas here. Everything is house made as well, there's all the salsas. So super excited about that. I have their salsa roja, which is apparently quite picante. I have their avocado salsa, which is a medium picante, and their tomatillo, which is also uh, kind of medium, medium spicy, apparently there. And then I do have some pico to gallo. All right, so I'll put the timer on just for the sake of it. Again, there actually isn't a time limit per se, so we can kind of just go as we want. So how about we get started? How about uh, one? Let's just go. Here we go, guys. Wow, barbacoa, delicious. I'm gonna grab some sauces and let's get going. Super rich guys, the barbacoa, amazing beef flavor. Oh my gosh, just, Wow. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are eating, yes, eating basically as many tacos as we can and or at least enough to beat the record. At least that is our attempt. So as we said, the previous record was 32 tacos and we are on our quest to try to beat that record. Um, the individuals at the restaurant were very, very friendly, loved all the staff, the ownership, everybody was great. And they specifically requested I try to, well, bump that number up quite a bit. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And that salsa. I've got a sauce, guys. Amazing. I didn't know how many I was going to try for, but minimum 33, and then, you know, just maybe a couple more than that. So, as I mentioned, we had the large variety of different tacos in front of us. They had so many different flavors. And when it comes to actual types of tacos, where they had like fish, shrimp, al pastor, carnitas, carne asada, uh, multiple different types of chicken, they had lingua, they had barbacoa, both uh, beef and uh, lamb. They had like everything. It was absolutely so impressive how many different types of tacos they had I was super impressed and I don't think I've actually seen a restaurant in North America especially Northern America that has had any kind of um, variety that touches the way Las Tortugas does try the Nepali cactus I'll try the spicy sauce on it. Not a bad idea. Not a bad way to go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cactus is great, great texture. That is spicy. Why picante? 
So the prize for beating the record, of course, is the Wall of Fame, as we saw at the beginning. You also get the percent of the amount of tacos that you've eaten off your meal. So, for example, if you ate 20 tacos, you'd get 20% off your meal. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, when it came to actual flavors, I'm going to tell you all about the flavors of tacos as we go through them. But let's just say they were very, very delicious. They were very good. They definitely have authentic flavors coming out of there. It really just reminded me of pure Mexican goodness, like straight from Mexico. I love the way that they marinated and cooked all of the meats. They definitely uh, made their salsas in-house. You can just taste the absolute freshness. Try pescado fish. We have some uh, coleslaw on these ones. That is amazing. One of the best fish tacos I've ever had. I have so many flavors, guys. The owners of this establishment also have a market as well. So here they have like the Las Tortugas uh, restaurant, like Taqueria. Then they actually also have a market. So if you want to buy your Mexican goods, you can also do so while in the area. Um, but yeah, so that was awesome. Again, there is quite a bit of natural commentary throughout the video. So I'll leave you mostly to that. Again, we did have a one seating time limit. Um, the guys, you know, he said no one's ever gone over an hour. So like, you know, we'll say within an hour, but really it was just one seating to complete these tacos and eat them here I have some carnitas what I have in front of me is actually the um, necessary tacos to eat, beat the record so this was 33 in front of us again the previous record being 32 so if I could eat what was in front of me that would be the new record and then anything additional we wanted to order we could just kind of go from there um, but yeah I think that's pretty much the majority of the info so I will let you get to the rest of the video oh but real quick so we're like seven and a half minutes in I think Order 10 more? Let me know how many tacos you think we are actually going to end up eating. So comment down below, give me a number of the amount of tacos you think we are going to end up eating. So I look forward to hearing your guesses and ultimately let's tune on in, see what happens, and let's see how many of these really delicious, delicious tacos we are going to end up eating. So street tacos, tell me number down below, let's get to it. These have a lot of meat on them. Love the portions that they're giving me. The El Pastor is really nice too. Nice flavor on it. Nice rich red. You got that really like marinated pork in there. It's very, very good. I'm also loving these salsas. The two greens, the avocado and the verde is just like, what be in. Everybody making our way through the tacos. Very enjoyable, that is for sure. I have seven left in front of me, ten on the go. Right the trash, 43. Man, those fish tacos are good. Very delicious.
All right, currently we are at the record. So if we eat this, we will beat the record. There you go, guys. So it's 33. We beat the record. Now we'll start in this next 10, which will bring us to 43. Got to say, the flair is fantastic. The fish are amazing. The barbacoa is great. I have some of the asada, so I'm excited to try that. That's a steak. So, let us get eating. I may well have to order a couple more. Let's we'll see how it goes, guys. Let's we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Um, sure, let's get a couple more. I have my menu here so we can pick a couple more flavors. Let's try. So, this is 43, so let's order seven more and bring us to 50. I'll try some of the ones I haven't tried before. So, maybe I'll try a. Uh, Can I do um, uh, three shrimp, please? And I'll do two of the chicken tinga and one chorizo. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So that would bring us, once with that, up to uh, 50. So 43, if we can get this done. I'm not trying to jinx it. Let's see what we can do, everybody. Let's see what we can do. Right, I think this is... This is the Asada. Oh yeah, these are nice and hot. Here we got the Asada, guys. Oh man, that is good. Very tender. It's just a like, great like grilled barbecue flavor. Let's do uh, an asada instead. Asada, sir. Okay. Thank you. Coming on, guys. So this would be 40, 40. Like we said, we got seven more on the go. Woo. I love this barbacoa, guys. It is so rich. The moist, soft, braised beef. Excuse me, my friend. Can I get a different bottle? It's kind of just come out the side. Thank you. By the way, check out Julie's.com, cover yourself some merch. Rock and I eat animals today because, well, we're eating animals.
Ah, eh, maybe we'll round up a little bit higher. We do 50. Let's do. We'll do 55. I think we'll keep that. Let's do um, uh, three more of the fish. Three more fish. Yeah, just the for a. Um, I'll do, um, I'll do three more of the um, asada too. Yeah, see, that's it. Sounds good. Look, I do that on Instagram. That's kind of Yeah, the Cinco, I think, 55? A lot of food, everybody. Very good tacos, though, like I said. Ooh, got some air me. Uh, got it, like, a, like, yeah, just absolutely delicious so far. We'll keep it going. I'm going pretty casual because I don't have to have a time limit. But we got six more coming. Let's get this six done. This new, we got the shrimp, the uh, cameroons, a tinga, the chicken tinga, which is a marinated spicy chicken. So let's try these. And I'm getting cold. I think I'm going to put my sweater on there. Put my sweater on though. Whoa. She continued though. Really nice pepper flavor on it. Filling up, everybody. A lot of food. I believe we're 49 in. Here's 55 in front of us. Delicious. But no shortage of food, that is for sure. Absolutely no shortage. Ugh. I will say though, like I said, these fish tacos, my absolute favorite. Absolutely amazing. So. Looking forward to that. And then with the carne asada as well. So, woo, food coma, guys. Food coma is kicking in.
Cincuenta dos, fifty two. About forty three minutes in. Delicious, but I'm filling up and I got to pee, so that's the one thing of drinking so many liquids. Got to pee. Fifty-five. I think we're gonna call it there. Woo. A lot of food. It's very delicious stuff. I literally think my all-time favorite fish tacos. The barbacoa as well. Woo. And that asada. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody. So there we go. Woo. Thank you. Look at this, guys. We got a belt. Woo! Look at that, guys. World champion. All right, that's cool. That's cool. We also have a shirt here as well. This I love tacos. I do love tacos, I do love tacos. So that everybody, huge thanks to everybody here. Appreciate it everybody. Thank you so much for watching, thanks for the support. Huge thanks to Lost Tortugas guys. The food, like I said, absolutely fantastic. Um, best fish tacos I've ever had. The barbacoa is again up there as well. The El Pastor, the ting, chicken tinga, everything I had was great. Love the tacos. Literally just like authentic Mexican flavors. All their salsas are delicious as well. Um, so yeah, for that, we beat the record quite a bit. A little bit, at least. We're now at 55 for the record. But we'll be going up on the wall. We got that shirt, which is cool. And we'll get 55% off our tacos today. So guys, super, super cool place. If you're ever in Sterling Heights or the Detroit area, would definitely make the trip up here, guys. It is well worth the trip. It is delicious food. Excellent cuisine, and the staff and everybody here has been fantastic. So. And that, till next time, come by, get yourself some tacos, don't eat 55, and of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and with that, have a lovely day. All right, everybody, so uh, my light died, and I wasn't gonna do this, guys, but just real quick, I'm gonna get, uh, we got some dessert, because it looks so good. So I got a homemade flan, which is awesome. If you're not familiar with the flan, you really should be, it's like a baked milk cake. And then I got what they call a deep fried Mexican ice cream. Just look at this. It's like corn flakes and ice cream. And so I gotta give it a bite. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. It is so soft, it's so creamy. Possibly the best plan I've ever had.
try this some fried ice cream. Lovely, amazing crunch, that coating. Beautifully crunchy. It's like cinnamon, sugar. And the ice cream is remaining very solid. It's almost like a churro coated ice cream. This is bomb. Everybody, well, that was awesome. Literally amazing. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.